What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I am telling you some romantic things that you can do for Valentine's Day in your hotel room. I know it's tempting to come jump on your bed and mess it up as soon as you get in your room, but this year we're doing it different. We're going to do something a little romantic, something a little sweet, whether you're a guy or a girl, whoever your partner is, will really be surprised by these 10 romantic gestures that anyone could do while they travel. One of the easiest things you could do is bring some matches and some tea lights and just line your room so that it is very romantic as soon as you walk in. Maybe you lead from the doorway to the bed or you put some candles on top of the bed, something like this. Just a little something to light up the room. You could scatter candles throughout the room. There's all kinds of things you can do with this one. And if you're nervous about non-smoking room, you can do electric candles or electric tea lights. And you can find all kinds of candles online. So check it out. They have electronic ones that have the flame in them. They have the electronic ones that like basically do anything. Anything will be romantic. It's the thought that counts. Of course, anything flowers is always great. You can just do a bouquet. It doesn't always have to be rose petals, although rose petals look really nice on white linens, but any flowers will do, and it will also scent up the room. There's just something about flowers that makes any situation really romantic. Even if it's just a single rose, it doesn't have to be a whole ton of flowers. Just the thought that you put something special into the hotel room and that's all that really matters. Of course, when you're at a hotel, no one is going to be cooking anything, probably, unless you have one of those ensuite things. So get some room service or just order delivery, Grubhub, whatever, and enjoy yourself even if your table looks like this. Here is a little tip. You can use a ironing board as a table. Get as romantic as you want. Go all out. Trust me, it is worth it. It is going to leave an impression. You could get linens to put on there. You could again put candles or flowers, anything like that, or have like a, maybe a special cup to drink out of when you get there. Or you could just eat off the tray that they bring up to you, depending on what it looks like, depending on the hotel, or if you got Grubhub, whatever, you know what I'm saying. The whole idea is doing something that makes the other person feel special and shows that you put some thought into what you're doing. If you don't really have time to plan anything, you could easily put some candy on the pillow. This is an easy surprise and it's easy to pack in your suitcase so it doesn't come off as like you're trying to hide something or anything. You could just keep it in your pocket and drop it on the pillow at any point. If you have a tub in your room, you could always do a bubble bath or just some rose petals in the water. Again, it doesn't matter. It's all about the thought that counts. If you shut the lights off, put a little tea candle and everything, mood lighting is everything. They may not want to use the bath, but it's fine. It's all about having the option if you want to use it and the thought that counts that you actually did something really nice and thought of them and wanted to help them relax. You could also do like a massage, things like this. If you guys want to share a bath together or you could just like drop one of those bath bombs or something and just show them that you care. If you're lucky enough to have a balcony, you can always hide it with the curtains. That way they won't be able to see what you have hiding outside for them to surprise and you can open the curtains at any time. This is one of those fun things because, you know, sometimes we walk into the room and if we don't see it immediately, we're not even thinking about it. So the fact that you hit it and then surprised us is cool. This way you can open the curtains at any time you're ready for the surprise. And it's the thought that counts, so even just having drinks out on the balcony and maybe a flower or some cute glasses that you brought, a surprise is a surprise is a surprise. This next thing to make your hotel room romantic is really easy to pull off. You could even ask them, do you accept this rose or something corny like that or I love you. You could write a poem or leave them a card inside of their luggage or just hide cards around the room. You could do like a little scavenger hunt. Another way to be really romantic when you travel is to wear those matching white robes or dress up for each other or even have like matching pajamas or anything with little hearts on it, whatever. It's all romantic at the end of the day and the fact that you packed it especially for them, they'll think it's really romantic, especially when you're traveling. Now, if your person is not very easy to surprise and they're always on to you, you can pick a romantic area inside the resort you're staying or inside the hotel even and just surprise them and say I made this for you or I made this reservation for us. These little things go a long way too. 
You can also arrange with someone who works at the hotel or the resort or whatever to have a bouquet waiting for you or even kind of decorate their lounge chair for the special occasion. The staff is more than willing to help most of the time, especially for a surprise for a special occasion while you're traveling. You can also surprise that person with a dance, you know, put a, some song on, just kind of dance around the room, kind of make it really romantic and jump on the bed or dance on the bed. Maybe you guys have a song that only is for you guys, so you could dance around to that maybe. And of course, don't forget the do not disturb. I hope this video has helped you guys have some romantic ideas for when you travel. And if you have more, feel free to leave them in the comments. Let's all help each other. And if you're watching this on Valentine's Day and you're going on a romantic getaway or just wanted to do something romantic for your partner, happy Valentine's Day. And I will see you guys in the next video.